Court positioning in tennis. Um, a lot of tennis players, when they first learn the game, think that after every shot they should run back to the middle. After every ground stroke, they should run right back to the center of the court. Nuh uh, that's not really true. When you run to your right, let's say if you're a right handed player, you run to your right, you hit a forehand cross court, you are not supposed to go right back to the center. The good court positioning when you've hit a cross court shot is a step or two off center to your forehand side, so diagonally across. So in other words, when you hit a ground stroke, the key positioning idea is you want to be slightly on the opposite side from where you've hit the ball. So if you run to your right, if you're a right-handed player, and you hit the ball down the line, where is your court positioning? Your court positioning is on the other side of center, not on the side that you're on, but the other side. Why? Because you're thinking that the highest percentage shot from your opponent is a cross court. So if you hit down the line, you've got to protect the high percentage shot from your opponent, which is a cross court. If you hit a cross court, the highest percentage shot from your opponent is cross court. So you don't have to go on the other side of center, you actually stay on the same side of center. So positioning at the baseline when you're hitting a ground stroke to another player who's at the other baseline is you want to be on the opposite side from where the ball is. You are actually a balancing agent. So the ball's on the right, you're on the left, and vice versa. So the real point of what Joe's saying, I think, is that by hitting cross court, you will save yourself some footwork because you will shade from that side of the court. If you hit the ball down the line, do it at your own risk. Feel confident about your chances. If you're just doing it to do it, you're setting yourself up to have to run. So prefer the cross courts, save some footwork. You'll need it later anyhow. So when you hit cross court, shade cross court. When you hit cross court forehands, shade to the forehand side. Now we come to the, the next shot is coming to the net, moving up. You've hit a couple of cross courts. The opponent hits you a short ball, you're coming in. We prefer to see you hit the, what we call the approach shot, the shot you're approaching to the net behind, down the line. Follow the ball. Wherever direction you hit the ball, you follow. So if you meant to hit it down the line, but by accident you hit a cross court, follow the actual flight, not the intended flight, okay? And move in and stop when your opponent is ready to hit his passing shot. Split step is what we mean by stop. So you're ready to react to his passing shot. And the reason you want to hit it down the line is the opposite reason you want to hit cross court at the baseline. You want to hit it down the line because at the net, you want to be on the same side as the ball from center. You want to be on the same side of center as the ball is. At the baseline, it's the opposite. So the, that's court positioning in tennis.